Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin and this video is a little different because I'm shooting it at home and this is the Qbox i4 Pro and my thought tonight was to set it up here as a Pipulate server at home behind the Wi-Fi router box but I'm learning from doing my research the ELEC, no the open ELEC uh, version of Linux that comes on the little micro SD card is actually XBMC. It's a fork of the XBMC project optimized to boot really quickly and to have the minimal amount of operating system to run an awesome media center. And that means it is not Debian. It is not even Arch. There's no apt-get, there's no Pac-Man, no remote package management. So unless I were to create a new SD image, uh, I'm out of luck tonight, but I thought I would still show you connecting it behind my Wi-Fi router at home. I talk so much about having a personal web server, a place to run your code uh, at home, or just in your life, a place to run your code that's not the cloud, that's not your laptop that gets turned off with power, uh, a little thing to do your bidding all the time. And even though it's just open elect, this uh, Xbox uh, Media Center, uh, software. It did have a Samba file server, which means it should become available uh, on my Mac as a place to store files uh, through file sharing. And also, I should be able to SSH into it, and I remember that the host name was also OpenELEC. So uh, without further ado, all it should require is these couple of things, plug into power, uh, plug into the network cable, and I'm gonna go do that. Oh, by the way, I am downloading this ignition.img here. It is really easy to put other versions of Linux on this thing, like uh, Debian Wheezy or something, which is sort of my plan. Uh, but uh, I don't have all the parts I need here uh, to do that. It actually would require uh, flashing the image. I have my micro SD card thing to go into the side of the Mac. Uh, to, to do the adapting, uh, but I would actually need to hook this to a monitor and keyboard and mouse again to go through the menus to do the install, so I can't do it at home now, having brought it into the 5030 office as I have. So, here's my sleeping dog. Here's my Wi-Fi router. Yes, it's a time machine. I am an Apple dweeb. Once Commodore went away, I looked for where all the cool stuff was happening. And like it or not, whether uh, Commodore fans like it or not when I say so, all the cool, super proprietary, do cool things cheaply was coming from Apple. And yes, the iPhone really did revolutionize things. And that's where that plus uh, the Mac switching to Linux or Unix, really, it's a mock BSD derivative Unix uh, sold me. So all I'm doing here is uh, taking, make sure the network cable is connected first because you want it to be able to, to taste the network once uh, you give it power. Give it one of the uh, unused network ports in the back. Thankfully I have one. I guess Apple wasn't too generous with the number of them they gave when they made this particular model. And then I've got some power ports. I'll be unplugging something, not quite sure what. I choose, oh, or can I get it in here? Maybe I can, I can get it in there. I don't need to unplug anything. Nope, I do. I'll move this one over here which opens up this side one here. Yes, these are raw videos, but that's that's the charm, right? And then I plug this in here. And as you saw earlier, you can see through the uh, optical audio port, you can see that, and you can see here in the IR blaster, it's booting up. Now, if internet hubbub is correct. This thing is going to boot up nearly instantly. So I should be able to, hello Cecil, go back over here.
and hit. Uh, I wonder if they'll have a website hosted here. Let me turn the brightness down. This would be um, open elect dot local if they have a web server on the thing and they don't did I do that right I might have just searched for it in Google oh my goodness what a surprise there it is I can reach the uh, the thing through uh, a web server they have a default web server so you can control your little uh, Xbox Media Center type uh, computer. Now that's a really good sign. It bodes very well for the other main thing I want to show you. I guess I need brightness as low as possible. But this is a little, not that low. This is a little web server. Um, and uh, let's see, let's see. Here we go. And... Uh, what we want to do here, well, first of all, file serving. Yay, let's take a look. And there it is. This is the open elect. This is the, uh, the this, this Qbox i4 Pro. And uh, I should be able to SSH to open lec. This is the first time I'm doing it, completely untested. Dot local. Uh, I want to put root colon before that. Root, no, root at open elect dot local. And we should get an SSH challenge because when I set this thing up, hey, yay! Tell it to record the key. Oh, password. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're logging in as root. And we know the host name is open elect. Open elect. Uh, permission denied, try again. Open elect. Let's try admin. Hey, oh, nope, it's permission denied three times. Okay. So what we need to do is. Go back to our web browser. Open a lec. Default password. Qbox. Username is root. Default. Oh, I guessed correctly. Was I not typing it right? I have to admit I googled it first, but I hadn't tried. Oh, that's why. Yes, all the people watching this pulling their hair out, but you know what? So what? Open elect. There we are, we're in. We have SSH'd in, ls. So, so far we have uh, file system access through uh, Open Samba that we saw installed on the earlier video. And we have SSH access. And there is nothing like apt-get. Uh, there's no working apt-get. Pac-Man, RPM. It is not possible to change a system or security. Yeah. Okay, so the thing I'm learning about OpenELEC is that it's an embedded uh, Linux made very much with the embedded philosophy that this is a dedicated device. And um, it's not going to be able to be changed much in the way that people use desktop Linuxes with uh, really cool uh, software repositories and remote package management systems. Uh, like RPM is the Red Hat Package Manager, that's a pretty famous one. A lot of people use the YUM interface to control that. 
but no go with the default image that um, lets you use the cue box as a media center, but that's no big deal. Uh, their big installer gives you a bunch of options of uh, other Linuxes to try, and uh, that just makes me another uh, video I can do. So before I sign off, I will just go back here and remind you that this is going to be a beautiful box running behind my Wi-Fi router at home uh, doing my bidding and uh, in a very familiar way once I get something like uh, Debian or Arch onto it. Thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.